looking at here is the eventide space and uh, the black hole algorithm. I gotta be honest, this thing is just kind of, I mean, it, it's just weird. It, it does lots of interesting things. It's got kind of wacky modulation and uh, I don't know, let's just start from the beginning. We've got a mix knob, pretty standard. The decay knob uh, has two sides, gravity and inverse gravity. Basically, these are forward and inverse uh, reverbs. The size control just controls exactly that, the size of the space that you're playing in. But more interestingly is the effects mix knob, which controls a uh, sort of the entire reverb structure, uh, the, the feedback of that. So um, you can get some oscillation out of this. I just don't even know where to start. Um, the two EQ knobs and the contour knob uh, sort of work together to boost and cut different frequencies. Uh, you can look at it in the manual if you want to know more about that. And then the X and Y knobs control modulation that, I mean, it's just, like I said, it can get a little kind of wacky. So um, I think, first of all, I'll pull the feedback down and uh, leave the delay down and kind of show you just the reverbs. So I'll pull the modulation out as well. So that's the gravity side. We'll go over here to, sorry, anti-gravity, or inverse gravity, I should say. Delay knob controls a pre delay. like that sound so let's use that to check out the effects mix here. I'll just crank it up and kind of show you what that does. gravity side here. I should mention that the EQ knobs are post-reverb, so it does kind of control it after the fact. the feedback out and kind of stabilize the uh, EQ a little bit here. Uh, so we'll kind of go full gravity here.
So that's a little bit of the black hole algorithm. Again, I'm not sure I've done this one justice because it's. Uh, I think it's just going to take some time to kind of figure out. And <laughs> yeah, it's it's very unique. Uh, so we'll kind of figure it out. Hope you enjoy the video.